So how do I make one liter of a 0.9% weight volume normal saline solution? 0.9 grams in every 100 milliliters of solution. So being able to read that in terms of percent, percent is out of 100. We realized that we could write this as a unit conversion, that there's point nine grams for every 100 milliliters. Well, I want a whole liter. What do I know about liters? Well, we need to get liters to milliliters before we can convert it to grams. So what do I know? I know milla is a thousandth, so there's 1,000 milliliters in one liter. So here we've identified what we know to be able to get what we want. What we want is how much salt do I need so I can add water to get a solution of one liter of normal saline. So I'm starting with I have one liter and what do I know about liters and milliliters? Well this one's actually easy. You could have just said well we have a thousand milliliters if I have a liter, but let's go ahead and show the math, show the dimensional analysis, seeing liters cancel, because if this had been a different number, like if I made it to make five liters, we would have put the five here times 1,000, then we would have gotten 5,000 milliliters, but this problem is pretty easy, it's just liters. If I make one liter of solution, that's really one times 1,000, 1,000 milliliters. So now I have milliliters. Now I can use this concentration given by in, from the percentage to be able to get grams of that salt. There are 0 0.9 grams in every 100 milliliters. So 1,000 times 9 divided by 100 and we get easily cancel two of those zeros out, cancel two of those zeros out, 10 times 0.9 gives us 9 grams of sodium chloride. Now ask yourself, does that make sense? Yeah, if it took 0.9 grams for every 100 milliliters, then 9 grams for every 1,000 milliliters. So how do I make an entire liter of this solution? I'll need 9 grams of sodium chloride. So I'm going to... And I'm going to add water. Water's our solvent. Sodium chloride, our solute. And I swirl to get all that sodium chloride dissolved. Then I'm going to continue adding the solvent until I have exactly one liter of solution. This is called a round bottom flask, and this is a really good piece of glassware for getting exactly one liter.